Got a Kubi. Of course I've got Kubis. Come on, man. Which Kubi is this? This is a KU2104J. Yeah, let's get it out of here. Yeah, so this is a hide. And I've got a couple of these. So this is probably most likely this one or that one. Like I get to keep one and one's got to go. Right? And I think I actually have three of this knife. I've got this one. Yeah. And I've got this one. Which, this one I've carried a bunch. Put a really nice laid back, beautiful edge on there. I like the jade. But yeah, I think I've carried this one quite a bit. This one not so much. Yeah, so that I've got those two. But this one, I know, man. That Ultim thing, who cares, right? Well, I had to check it out. And the reason I did was because of that milling. Look at that milling. I saw that milling and I zoomed in on it and I thought, man, I'm going to have to check it out. It's not like I don't have a bunch of these, but I'm going to have to look. Let's get rid of this. But yeah, I'm pretty sure one of these, at least one of these got to go. Maybe two. I don't know. Yeah, so it's it's everything I thought it was. That milling is really crisp and sharp, man. So much so that when you if you try to push forward because of the angle that's on it, it forces your finger to follow the angle. See if you can hear it. Yeah, really aggressive, man. Golly. All right, let's get that blade out. Mm -mm -mm. semi-polished on the edge needle point Ugh, wonderful check that action I mean it's the same as the others look at it out of the box grab it that front over flip thumb spidey front flipper and then reach over. Come on. Or that top top flip. I don't know, man. You know me. I'm confused. Wonderful tension on the pocket clip. And you can see the liners through that. See them through there? Let me get the blade out of there. Now you can really see them. Wow. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. And I believe it's still 14C. Yeah, it's 14C. So, except for the scales, all three of these knives right here are the same. So, one of them needs to go. But, before any of that happens, let's check this one in. I, I do like this hide, man. It is a good... A good little pocket knife. And I say little. It's probably more of a medium size. It's not really a small knife. But. We're definitely going to try to make this a short video. We're not going to extend this. And then I'll, I'll tag this in with another video. And we'll play it uh, late morning one day. Because I mean how many times do I got to check a. A particular model of a knife in you know what I mean this would be number three so we just do a quick wipe down everything looks pretty good in here I gotta get this towel off a of bench man I'm gonna have to bring in a replacement okay last Almost the last piece right here. These blades have internal stop pins. This black is a wonderful stone wash finish. Captured pivot. It's got that Kubi captured pivot on it. There's a little bit of black coming off that bearing. And that's going to be that where it's cutting into that 
that black stone wash. Yeah, so on these pivots, I've showed it several times, but it's got a little cutout there on the pivot. Right there. And then there's a little nib that sticks up where it sits right there. I mean, simple, super effective. Yep, these things really work. All right. Heck, we're already going back together. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's running pretty, pretty good on there. I mean, check for blade play. Check it while it's not under tension from the lock. Yeah, there's no movement in there at all, but I'm going to check that pivot. Yeah, it was snug. All right. How long did that take us? Seven minutes from start to finish, and that was me blabbing in the beginning, running that action. Well, all right. So, the, I mean, I've covered the action on this hide many a times, at least twice. I mean, maybe even three or four times because... I've talked about what, you know, pocket check, what's in your pocket. And this may have been one of those things in my pocket. But, I mean, the pocket clip's stunning on this thing. Oh, it's a little different, so we're going to check it. These two are the same. This one's a little different. Come on. Tried to, tried to slip that by me. Oh, contraire. All right, here we go. Deep stuff, easy. Yeah, deep carry. One hand in, one hand out, and it's got tension all day long yeah wonderful my spot back here i dig it subtle excellent tension yep i could go for a run and that thing would be right where i left it no blade contact no tip contact even close to it so tips good clips good and uh, confident of putting it in my pocket and not having incidental blade contact mm -mm -mm. man is this thing nice so this one is feels kind of sharp compared to well now nah, that I mean I guess it's the same feel but this milling is definitely sharp like you feel it it's in there and I'm not going to complain about good sharp grip this is it is because it's ultim it is slick it's slick but only in the direction of these lines those lines are controlling the direction of a flow for sure man um i think just from the cool factor uh well let's do price and availability but first let's make sure that blade sharp that i don't have to strop it or anything nah it's ridiculous it's wonderfully sharp i mean now this one i put an edge on i wonder if it'll show out as sharper I mean, 
I don't know. They both seem pretty, pretty crazy sharp. What the heck? Why am I leaving this one out? I'll be honest, this one feels like the sharpest one. And it's got a beautiful polished edge on it. I mean, it's it's really looks wonderful. Yeah, this one's the sharpest. Mm-mm. -mm. That edge. Alright. So if I'm gonna give two away, what's it gonna be? The action on that one. This one's quite a bit lighter as well. I'll be honest, I'm kind of hard pressed because I do like this one. It's sharp. The action on it is superb. Same with this one. Let me see if, yeah, the liners are exactly the same. It's just the weight of the scales, a little bit lighter knife. You know, I, I'm not going to decide. I'm going to put them all three in the case and then we'll see the progression. I mean, honestly, if somebody made me an offer on one of these, maybe that would make my decision. I don't know, but. I, I thought I would for sure just keep the Altum one and get rid of the G10 one. That's what I thought. But now that I'm handling it, I don't know. It's not that I don't like it. I do. Love this knife. I'm just not sure that I like it more than this one. And this one, I could dye this one purple. And this one doesn't have the black stonewashed blade. It's got a stonewashed satin blade, which I like. I mean, maybe I put that blade in this knife. That would that would look really weird. But I could change all of the hardware too. Put all the black hardware in them. You know, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me give you price and availability on this Altum one though, and we'll wrap up. How about that? Okay, so I can't find these available. With this Ultim and the black. Um, these, they're still different models of the hide that you can pick up at White Mountain Knives for under $40. So they're still, you can still pick them up for under $40. So if I was going to, you know, if I was going to purge one of these, we're probably in the, you know, maybe in the $35 range, roughly. This one's about $10 more. So even if they had it, the price is about $45 on this one. So I'd probably be around 40 bucks on this one and maybe 35 on these, roughly. So I don't know, man. I can't make up my mind. I do really like the knife, but I know I don't need three of them, man. Honestly, I don't need two. I just need one. I can only carry one. Yeah, but this Ultim, mm -hmm -hmm. it's got a cool factor, that's for sure. It's got a cool factor that these don't have. All right. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching.